Hey everybody, this is Strange to Society, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of K. Alright, so, in the last video, we entered the Dragon's Cave, and uh, we're ready to go uh, hunt down Tack, hopefully before he gets to the dragon, and uh, all that good stuff, and um, it's actually going to take us a while to get to this dragon, from what I remember. There's a lot of trials and tests and all kinds of things, not to mention hidden stuff. And uh, stuff that I can't pick up. What is that? That's another Demon's Gate bottle. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Uh, once again, I'm not worried about points, so I'm not really even worried about messing with those. I uh, just want to clarify again, not doing a 100% run. So, uh, sorry if that's uh, what you guys were expecting. Oh, what's this then? Another bloody rat? I'll show you what for, you mangy little... Wait! I'm no rat. I'm a cat. Right. And I'm a snake with a gland condition. Eat smoke, ratty. Okay, so the dragon thinks we're one of the rats. And uh, he is trying to torch us. And uh, he will torch straight ahead to wherever we are. We can hide behind some obstacles to help us out. And uh, it's all a timing game at this point, so... Okay, there we go. Once we get close, he goes on deeper into the cave. Okay. Uh, so it looks like Tax already ran into him, but Tack wasn't able to accomplish anything. Too bad for him. Okay. Activate the map again. Uh, if there are little crystals out here, I'll go ahead and collect them. I mean, I might as well. So... This, uh, but yeah, not 100%ing. If you want to see a 100% run, I'm sure there's somewhere on YouTube. If you can find it in English, when I did a search for this game before on YouTube, uh, most of what I found was from German uh, Let's Players, and that's all they spoke, so I couldn't understand it. And uh, so I don't know if uh, if they did 100% or not. So. Okay, uh, there are secrets around here, so be aware of that. Found a light. Oh, okay, so this is just a light that's going to follow us. It'll brighten up uh, dark areas and all that good stuff. Uh, we'll see it used more often. It's not really necessary in this area just yet. But, uh... Well, okay, because I'm trying to remember there was something... In here, was there? And eh, can I get? Oh wait, 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 wait! I think I saw something. So, uh, I could, if I can find something, if I know where it is, I'm going to go after it. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Um. Okay, if I run over that fire, it will hurt. So keep that in mind. Um, what you see right here, this is actually a sign. Let's see what it says. I progressed further than Zhu Yan, but couldn't get to the end of the dragon cave. I could take the first hur let's see, I could take the first hurdles, which greatly annoyed Torchi. After that, I couldn't manage to move on further, but I found out something. When Torchi talked in his sleep, I heard something about two cat statues and a sword. You probably have to activate the two cat statues to get to the sword, but I couldn't find out more. I'm leaving. Zeng Yu. Okay. So, that tells us that there's a secret in here and something about a sword. And, uh, actually, our first sword upgrade is, uh, here. Now that we've, uh, already taken care of the dragon, I can go back without any issues. And I want to do that real quick because I think I missed another sign, and I just want to make sure that what I can show off, I will show off, even though I'm not doing a 100%. And it's just a quick trip back, and I'd rather make it now than getting all the way to the end. Um, because there should be another sign somewhere. Yes, okay, here it is. Okay. I've tried to progress deeper into the dragon's cave many times, but the dragon always stopped me. You have to be pretty speedy and observant to get past this fireball. So when a fireball touches wood, a burnt cinder is all you have left. I will cancel my expedition now and leave this as fair warning for all the other willful adventurers. Zoo young. So, there's two cat statues here we gotta find, and uh, this is important, I'm pretty sure we could buy the sword upgrade, 
at the shop if we miss it. However, it will likely be quite expensive, and I don't want to pay for it because I don't have that much coin yet. So, anyway. But now that we found that, let's go see if we can find these... Hey, hold on. I misjudged where that hole was, and I didn't want to fall down. Okay. And there we go. Okay. And just want to make sure I check everything. I said before I might do some wandering because I don't remember exactly where everything is. This is kind of a longer game, and like I said, I've only played it twice. So, and hey, let's move forward, shall we? I think that sounds like a good idea. And I do have a couple bombs. Uh, I do not have any bombs, never mind. Uh, okay. So, next uh, room where we have to dodge the dragon. No, stop! I'm fighting the rats too. Whiskers and tails, rats ye hail. Okay, so, uh, we could, uh, jump up there and dodge some fireballs, but since they're wooden crates, they won't last very long. Um, okay, let me get what's in here. Ow! Okay. Go. Ah. And we do stay on fire for a sec if we get caught, so keep that in mind. Okay. This... Run up here, and he'll run away again. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's looky, 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 okay. So I don't want to miss anything. I think we can do something with these crystals, but in fact we cannot. Anyway, let's just keep looking around here. Okay, moving forward. Okay, so we got some pots. And then the treasure chest. With more money, lots of money. You're gonna end up collecting a lot of money, but it's a lot of it's like the copper coins, which only account for one uh, coin, so you don't get much out of it. Okay. Ah, uh, we have another note here. I've progressed further than anybody else, but in my opinion, it's impossible to get any deeper into the dragon's cave. I have my doubts that any creature short of another dragon could do better, but I found out something else important. A few steps from here, there's the cat statue Zhang Yu talked about, but alas, I couldn't reach it because I couldn't find the mechanism to make it accessible. Zai Ying. Okay. I hope I'm pronouncing those uh, names correctly, and uh, please forgive me if I am not, but... Uh, okay, so there is a cat statue nearby, but there's a mechanism that we have to activate, and I'm trying to remember what the mechanism is. Let's see, because thankfully we have a map that shows us kind of where stuff is. I can not actually jump into that flame and catch on fire, so that's not fun. And I've already uh, got hit a couple times. Thankfully my shield, or my armor, protected me. Okay, and uh, what we have to do, since we cannot stay in the water forever, is we have to make sure that we get to where we need to get to. Okay. Before that little meter on the side runs out. So let's go here. Okay. And let's go this way. And to the left, right? Where am I going? I think I want to go this way. Uh, oh, that was close. Okay. Uh, the cat statue is back this way. That I do remember. Uh, we want to jump from here to get our maximum distance, hopefully. And I, this is pretty tight right here, so we want to make sure... Okay, there we go. Alright, here we go. Keep going. Oh, man. There's one mechanic that I do kind of like, um, that he's a cat, he doesn't like water, but instead of getting hurt by water, he just can't swim forever, which in some ways makes sense, in some ways doesn't quite make sense, but, uh, okay, hold on, uh, um, okay. 
So anyway, here is the cat statue. We made it across. It's not that hard. You just have to make sure you're timing it right and uh, not drowning. Okay, so we got all that. Wish we could take all that other gold with us, but unfortunately we just take the regular coin. So we activate that. That opens one of the gates, and there you can see the sword through those bars, and we'll get to that area later. But uh, anyway, let's uh, go this way and jump. Make our way back to where we're supposed to be. Okay. Man, I'm trying to remember where that other cat statue is. It's just not coming through. I mean, the map is pretty good about showing secret areas of said there was a clue in that back room. If I have to go back there, I'll just do some editing and cut some stuff out so I'm not wasting your guys' time. But, uh, let's continue on. Okay, let's go... And... Hmm... Pots. We got like over 2,000. We got a next checkpoint. I know this. If if the next area is the one that I think it is, this one can be a bit of a pain. Oh, that gave me a bunch of magic. Huh. Okay. That's where it came from. So let's move forward now. And this may be our last area. Rule of three, typical in video games. Uh, Joe, knock it off. Clear out, you scurrying little rodent, before I turn on the old flamethrower here. Oh, yeah. So we got all these platforms suspended above a uh, bottomless pit. And uh, we got a little bit of protection here, but uh, as soon as we move, we want to be fast and accurate with our jumps, which is not an easy thing. So I gotta time this just right. You kind of want to do the zigzag so that you're not dealing with the fireballs. And if you fall, that is uh, a death. Well, not really a death, because if you fall in a bottom bottomless pit here, you don't actually die. You just take... Uh, you go back to a checkpoint spot and you take um, one hit of damage, which I enjoy. I think that's a great mechanic. Uh, especially when you're dealing with a lot of platforming over bottomless pits because in, uh, to lose a whole life, although kind of understandable in the whole, you know, big scheme of things, um, in this, oh, hold on. Look, pointy ears, I'm a cat, not a rat. Well, boy, sorry, thought you was a rat. Well, now the light's better, I can see you now, rat. You're the bloke who took out Borax. Some good fight in that. That's just good training. I'm after Tack. Have you seen him? Seen him? I near smoked him. He come in here after me, that cheese breath vermin. Ha! You said it. See, they got these special transforming amulets. Turns a mild beast of burden into a beastly burden. Great fearsome monsters they are. That's not the trifle with the likes of them, lad. Okay, but Tack won't get away with this. Not as long as this cat warrior still draws breath. Be careful, mate. Lots of animals have taken up with Tack, and that Tack is using alchemy. I'll be careful. And please, can you take care of the hares? You can rely on it, my furry friend. Thanks. See ya. Alright, cool. So, we got uh, the help of the dragon now, and uh, he's finally realized that we're not a rat. And uh, there's the sword, but I gotta find the other cat statue, so give me a sec, hold on. I, that note, I, th I don't remember if it's a deceptive note or not, telling you about the cat statue. Oh, I'm just trying to remember here. Um, let's see. So we got here, we could talk to him some more, but there's no need to do that. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a few minutes to go back and find that cat statue so that we can get that sword upgrade. So I'm going to cut it right here and uh, be back in just a sec. Okay, I'm back. So I figured out where it was and uh, it should have been obvious. We're back in that room in between the first and second fire dodging sections. And uh, there's this giant pot here and what you want to do is jump in the pot and there's a hole. Okay? So uh, we go down the hole and uh, what we want to do is collect this light here. It'll help us along the way. There's a chest. Get some more money. Okay, here we go. Thankfully that didn't take me very long to find and what you want to do is crouch and uh, go under here. It'll actually do a short cutscene as you get under there. You'll get the light. And here's the cat statue. And that opened the last gate. Okay. I knew it was in that room. I just forgot where exactly. And I should have known to jump in the pot. But uh, you got to be careful when jumping into stuff like that. Because sometimes uh, there'll be stuff in there that'll actually hurt you. Like that's what I was afraid of what I was cautious about before. But if we actually go back to the starting area and go under this wall, uh, there's a little bit more that we can get. There's another chest, which we can see. And it has a health potion. Uh, let's see. I have two health potions. I don't need another one, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Once again, that's the one thing I don't like about the inventory system. Is you can come across some good stuff and not be able to pick it up. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this out again. Uh, hold on. Let me get out of the hole. Get on the ladder. There we go. So I'm going to cut this out again and meet you guys back at the dragon room. See you in a sec. Okay, and here we are back at the dragon's uh, area and all his jewels and everything else. If we go off to the left here. We can go into the room, jump up on the table, and we have a new sword. We can do more damage, and our magic attack will improve. Uh, our magic attack is never going to really change. It's always going to be um, the whole lightning deal, which is kind of disappointing, but I'm not a big magic user anyway. I'm more brute force kind of guy, uh, but others might be disappointed. Um, but it will become stronger and we can hit more enemies and with that we can move on to the next area and there is a picture of a boar so you can guess what we're going to do but we are going to do that deal with that in the next episode uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying this and uh, I will uh, see you guys in the next episode take care